Okay, now let's go over dermatophytosis. I know this is a lot of information, but it's a chronic fungal infection and it can affect a lot of different places and each of those different places have a, has a different name. So tinea capitis is in the scalp. Um, I just remember that because you wear a cap on your head, capitis. Um, that creates dry, itchy lesions all over your scalp. Tinea corporis is the body. This is ringworm and the symptoms look like ring lesions all over the body. Um, a lot of um, male athletes, like wrestlers, get this when they're on the mat a lot. Um, tinea inguinum is the nails. It's asymptomatic, but often you'll find that the nails become brutal and that's usually found in the toenails. Um, tinea pedis is of the feet. This is called athlete's foot. Symptoms are itching and burning and things like that. Tinea carreras is in the groin. This is also called jock itch and this is red itchy lesions in that area. It usually happens to male athletes. Um, diagnostic procedure is a culture, one of the lesions to isolate the fungus and then treat it from there. Treatment is a topical fungicidal. They also have oral medicines for this as well and good hygiene, meaning keeping the area dry and clean, especially um, an athlete's foot. Um, prognosis here, it is good, you're not going to die from this, but it tends to be chronic and persistent. If you have it once, it's generally going to come back. Prevention is just the good hygiene.